This exhibition, Toy 2, Toy Order, Contemporary Māori Art, spans 70 years of contemporary Māori art and presents the work over, of 111 artists with over 300 artworks on display. Uh, it's the largest single exhibition in the history of the art gallery and that's our 133 year history. It's been 20 years since any institution has presented a survey of contemporary Māori art uh, nationally but also for our, for our institution, uh, Auckland Art Gallery Toyo Tamaki. Uh, the last survey was in 2001 with Pūrang Yaho, and it's really exciting to be revisiting the importance of Māori art through a survey show. With most survey shows or exhibitions, uh, it's usually surveys point A to point B, and it's usually told through a chronology of time. And this time round with a survey show of contemporary Māori art, we wanted to present a survey which was slightly different, which wasn't reliant on a Western idea of time or chronology, but looked at a different framework and a different way to approach the history of contemporary Māori art. So this time we've incorporated the Māori creation story to think about Māori art, Māori culture, and the importance of contemporary Māori art as a movement. So with the creation story, it starts in a place called Te Kore, the great nothingness, the empty, selfless void, and moves into a state of te pō, uh, the great darkness, uh, where the murmurings of form and shadow start to take, take shape and start to emerge, which brings us into a space where Ranginui, the Sky Father, and Papatūnuku, Earth Mother, are separated by their son Tāne to reveal Te Ao Marama, the world of light and life, which we live in today. So on the ground floor, when you come to the exhibition, you will literally traverse the creation story from Te Kore, Te Pō, to Te Ao Marama, the world of light and life. And it's the space of the celestial, so the cosmos and where the gods reside, uh, is told on the ground floor. The human story, or the Ida Tangata story, is told on level one, and we start that story uh, with Maui, the demigod Maui, and we look at our human story in all its colour, in all its um, diversity and its storytelling uh, on level one. So the framework is quite unique because when we think about the storytelling around art histories, this time around the Māori creation story is allowing us to spend, allowing us to suspend a Western uh, art framework, if you like, as the first conversation and allowing a Māori worldview to be the first conversation we have when we not just enter the space but enter the conversation about what these works represent and the ideas behind them. So that's quite a new, um, a new development and a new, I suppose, offer within how we think about those art histories. And the mātauranga Māori or the Māori knowledge that sits be behind those ideas is allowed to take centre stage and be the first conversation that we enter into when we um, engage with that story. Like a large survey show does, it presents the voices of many artists and in this exhibition 111 contemporary Māori artists from the 1950s right through to present day. So that's quite a diversity of uh, voice, diversity of vision, but uh, told together through the creation story. So you have artists looking at similar topics and ideas within our creation narrative. Um, some that were done in the 1950s, such as Arnold Manaki Wilson's uh, Tani Mahuta, and some done uh, recently, such as um, Saffron Teratana, Henry McGregor, and Natai Taipa's Tu Te Manu Ora I Te Rangi installation, which also looks at Tani. So the interesting way in which artworks from across generations are talking to one another um, in dialogue with the creation story and with those narratives that sit behind the works. I think one of the interesting things with the exhibition to date is that the public have warmly received the way in which we presented the story of contemporary Māori art and have really embraced it. And for us, um, and for myself as a curator, that's really exciting to see and really exciting to see that we can think about our art histories differently and our public have, are very interested in walking in that journey and seeing it in those ways. The project has been four years in the planning and in the thinking and 14 months in earnest um, 
construction. But I'm really, really proud of the way in which the story is being told and come together in such a powerful way. And it's reminded me the power of our cultural stories and the enduring nature of them across time uh, as really pivotal and elemental ways of thinking about place and being and in turn um, our art histories. Yeah.